time is current. The place is a location in New York City's subway platform. The characters are Hilda, Mother, Annette, Renata, Phantom. Scene 1. Hilda and her mother are waiting trains on a New York City subway platform. It's winter. It's cold. The two are wearing coats, perhaps hats and gloves. Mother is carrying a shopping bag, presumably with gifts. I know it's hard, but there are good and sad days in everyone's life, Hilda. You can't be comparing yourself to... Not comparing, okay? I'm just saying it always seems to work out for her. Me, it's all a struggle. It's all a drama. Every bump in the road is a drama. Oh, that's my train. Oh, that's your train. That's my train. Okay, call me tonight. We need to talk. I, I, I really, I, I don't want to talk, Mother. It depresses me. Oh, Hilda, I wish you wouldn't be like that. It's the holidays. The holidays depress me. Don't say that. It's the happiest time. It's the happiest time of the year. Really? What are holidays but a time for spending money you don't have and finding yourself a year older? Mother, okay. You keep your holidays oh, Debbie Dunn, your way, you? and I'll keep Free them God, mine. Some friend will come by and snap you out of this gloomy mood. I don't want to go to my grave seeing you so sad and lonely. Oh, mother, you're not going anywhere. I'll be deader than a doornail before you go anywhere. Have a fun day, dearie. Try anyway. I love you. A young woman steps off the train. She carries a Gimbel's shopping bag. Hilda stares at the bag. Gimbel's hasn't been around for years. Where did you get that bag? Hilda, you don't recognize me? No, should I? I was only your best friend in high school. What? Central Commercial. We were best friends. I was going to be account an accountant, and you were going to a be Broadway me. star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a different time, wasn't it? Oh, I thought the world was mine back then. I had such plans and such dreams. Roxy, <gasps> yes. The name on everybody's lips, it's gonna be Roxy. <laughs> the lady raking in the chips, it's gonna be Roxy. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Didn't work out? Not even close. Mothballs of memory? Maybe it was asking too much. Whatever happened to that boy you liked? Robert, yes. Robert, such a handsome guy. Oh, I just tingled when we kissed. I heard you got married. Yes, we did. It was like yesterday. Oh, the whole world just lay ahead of us. A train whistle. You know, we couldn't afford the biggest wedding. It was small, intimate, just a couple of friends. But oh, what a great time we had. On the other hand, my sister's reception was big, lavish. But your sister's divorced, isn't she? Yes, she... Annette? Oh, but you... You aged a day. That's my train. I doubt we'll see each other again. Don't let go of those dreams, old friend. It's gonna be Roxy. The name on everybody's lips. Another woman carrying a small Christmas tree enters. Can I get can I can I get the express to Borough Hall here? Yeah, I hope so. I'm waiting for that too. Um the A train, right? Oh, that's the one. I don't know why I I bought this tree up here in the city. I, I could have gotten one in Brooklyn. 
and paid a lot less. There's this guy, Yuri, a Ukrainian, right off the boat. He's got this old Chevy pickup, drives out to Jersey, cuts a bunch down and brings them to Brooklyn and sells them in, on my street. Oh, are you allowed to do that? <laughs> Probably not. In the summer, he sells watermelons. In between, he paints apartments and uh, drives an Uber. Poor guy. You've been waiting long. Wait, why, why do you say poor guy? I mean, he sounds very industrious. Oh, Yuri works 24-7 to feed four kids and a sick wife. She has MS, poor thing. The landlord holds a cleaver over his head like it's a palace or something. But it's, yeah, it's a palace for the rats. Uh, Yuri is one step from a cardboard box under the Brooklyn Bridge. But why? I mean, he works hard. And, and there are all these social programs and, you know, I mean, welfare. Public assistance. I know there are. I played. I paid plenty of taxes. Oh, it's a tough world out there, Hilda. It, it, it's Hilda, right? It's a world filled with ignorance and want. What with inflation and all, it gets hard to hold a family together. You gotta run just to stay in place. That's why Yuri works so hard to keep his family. How do you know my name? Oh, Drat, where's that train? I gotta get home and get dinner started. I'm getting the day off tomorrow. I love it. Time to fix up the house for the holidays, do a little shopping, and then snuggle up with my hubby and my big hairy labradoodle. <laughs> you have a dog? Mm, pets are not allowed in uh well, there's always the big hairy beer belly guy in your life. Uh, yeah, Robert and I are um, separated. And he doesn't have a beer be belly. He runs uh, marathons. Oh, that's too bad. Well, here. Renata pulls big fluffy pillow out of a bag and hands it to Hilda. What's this? It's a snuggle pillow. And look, you press the button and it, it purrs. <laughs> uh, no, really, I'm okay. A train screech. Renata disappears. What's strange? Meeting Annette on a subway platform after so many years and she I mean, she didn't even look a day older. It was such a happy time back then. I never even thought of tomorrow or tomorrow's. Tomorrow just came and I enjoyed every moment of it. I have something to show you. Show me? Uh, no, you, you must have uh, mistaken me for someone else. I don't know you. Everyone knows me. Some sooner, some later. Well, I'm, I'm actually in a hurry. The phantom holds a mirror to Hilda's face. Stop. What are you doing? Why, I'm... Um, a mirror? <laughs> I don't need to see myself, do I? See yourself as you are. Why are my eyes closed? I, I'm so gray. Well, a little makeup will fix that up. Thanks for pointing that out. Let me see, a little blush. A redder lipstick. Um, that was that was your point, right? A train screech. Wait, don't don't leave. Tell me, that was your point, right? Keep the mirror handy. The phantom disappears. A train whistle. 
She looks in the mirror. I look deader than a door now. She pats her face. It can't just be plush. She dials her phone with resolve. Robert? Hi, Robert, it's me, Hilda. Okay, don't say anything, right? Let me talk, Robert. I'm really sorry that it didn't work out the way we dreamed. I know it didn't, I... Yeah, it's nobody's fault, Robert. This is hard for me, but... Um, I'd like to. I'd like to see you again. No, I wouldn't... I wouldn't just like to see you, I... I want to see you again. I want you to put everything aside and come over. Yes, tonight! <laughs> and I want the kids over too. I haven't seen them in such a long time. <laughs> what? Nothing's come over me. I, I just want to enjoy the holidays. <laughs> yes, I I know I've always called the holidays humbug, but but I I miss the fun. And I miss you. And you know, we only live once. Yes, I do love you. I love you. I always have and I always will. I'm so sorry for forgetting that. Oh, wait a minute, here comes my train. Um, wait, Robert, I'll put a turkey in the oven and sweet potatoes mm -hmm. and corn. And, and I'm going to bake an apple pie. And, um, oh, Robert, Robert, can you, can you pick up a tree on the way over? And, um, oh, maybe a labradoodle? The end. Mm -hmm.